In this beginner's guide, we're going to have an in-depth look about how to erase things in Canva. We will first cover what your options are to erase in Canva free, and then later on, I'm also exactly going to show you how to erase things in case you do have a Canva Pro subscription. Let's jump on in. As a Canva free member, the options that you actually have to erase something are very limited. Let me just say that from the get-go. But with that said, let me now show you all the possible things that you can do in Canva free to erase something. First of all, whenever you have an image or photo in Canva, when you left-click on it, you will notice that at the edges, you will see these bar handles. So the first thing that you can actually do to get something out of your image is to go to one of these handles and then simply drag it. Like this you can already get stuff out of your image that you don't want. You can do this vertically, but you can also do that horizontally from here. Now while this indeed can be useful, this is obviously not true erasing. Also the obvious limitation that we have here like this is that we can only crop like this from the edges like this and we can only crop like this in a rectangular shape. Moreover, with this method you cannot erase stuff that is inside of the image which isn't attached to any of the borders. So now let us have a look at the second way on how to erase something on Canva Free, which is by erasing contents with frames. As you can see on the left side here we have some sort of neon image of a girl. And on the right side here you can see the same girl but this time in a heart shape. And as we did pack this image into a heart shape, obviously everything outside of the heart shape has actually been erased. Let me show you how to do this. First of all, on the left side, click on Elements. Then scroll down, and you should be able to find frames. Then click on See All. And you will then see a list with all sorts of frames. And the trick here, obviously now, is that you can put this image here into any of these frames here, and like this, the parts of the image that won't fit into this frame will be simply left out and erased. And as I've showed you, in our first method right here, we had the issue that everything could just be done in a rectangular shape here. When we use the second method right here, we don't have this limitation anymore, because obviously a lot of these shapes actually don't have a rectangular shape. For example, let's click here on this circle frame. And to put our image now into that frame, all you need to do is to left click and hold, and then just drag that on top of the circle, like this. And that already looks so much cooler than before. Another thing that you can do now is you can still change the size of the photo within the frame. And like this you can even get out more stuff out of the image that you actually don't want. To do that make sure to double click on your frame. And you can then use these circular handles here in the corners of the image to make your image bigger. Like this. So I could make it much bigger like this for example, and then I can left click and hold here to reposition our image within the frame. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit because I need more space. And I will now do this again. First make it much much bigger and then reposition it. And once you're happy with the result, you can click on done in the lower left corner of the screen. And just like that, I just got the head in this frame, instead of having half of the body and a lot of other elements that I actually don't want to have. Now let's have a look at the last workaround that you can use to erase something in Canva Free, and that is by using Canva's Draw feature. This is the image that we are going to work on right now. Let's suppose we would just like to erase the text is right here. To get this achieved, we will use Canva's Draw app. You can find this feature in the left sidebar. Just click on it, and you will then see these different pens right here. Now hover over these pens, and to select one, Simply click on it. Then below when we click on this color square right here, we can adjust the color. So I will set this to black right now. And then I click on settings here below. And I will just increase the weight here a little bit, which is basically the brush size. Now on our image right here, because the background is actually black as well, I can simply draw over the things that I don't need anymore and this is automatically going to erase these things because it obviously has the exact same color. So I can just left click and draw over the A's here and this is going to erase it. Let's have a look. Done! This method obviously works best whenever you have a solid one color background. Whenever you have that in an image or photo, you can use the draw feature to get rid of stuff and erase things. Let me just give you one more example for that one right here. In this case here on this page here, we have a simple solid background that I chose here on the left side from background and then I just simply chose black. 
And then I went to elements here in the left sidebar as well, and I added this dog element. Now let's suppose I would like to erase this tail right here. As we've seen so far in Canva 3, there's actually no straightforward way to simply erase part of an image. But using our draw hack, we can easily get rid of this tail right here. All we need to do is to click on draw here in the left sidebar, then we take our pen right here, make sure that the color here is set to the very same color as our solid background, in case you're not sure about the exact color of the background, actually there's also a little trick that I would like to show you, and that is by clicking here on this square right here. And you can then use this color picker right here, and when you click on that, you can then simply hover anywhere here over your background here, and when you left click, then this will take this exact color of the background and will apply it here to our pen. So now that we have the exact same color selected, we can simply draw over the tail right here to erase it. And that's it for Canva 3. These are actually the only three methods that you can use to erase something. I know these are really more like workarounds, but this is really the best we can do on Canva 3. Now let's have a look at how to properly erase stuff with Canva Pro. In Canva Pro, we basically have two tools that we can use to erase. First of all, we can use Canva's magic eraser, and secondly, we can also use the background remover to erase things in Canva Pro. Let us start with Canva's magic eraser. To use the magic eraser, left click on your image, and then on top click on edit photo. Then on the magic studio right here, select magic eraser. Now to erase something out of your image, actually all you need to do is to adjust the brush size here on the left side, if necessary, and you can then simply brush over the element that you would like to erase. So for example, let us try to erase this light stream right here. So I would simply left click and hover over this light stream right here, just like this. Then I will let go of the left mouse button, and now let's see what happens. And just like this, Canva erased this element out of our image. Pretty awesome. But as you can see, it didn't do a perfect job because we still have some fragments here remaining. However, in this case, what often helps is to actually do the same process again. This time, I'm also going to increase the brush size a little bit. And now I'll simply brush over it again. And as you can clearly see, it already looks much, much better. To get even better results, you can keep repeating this process. Now let's suppose we also have a person in our image right here. Let's see what Magic Eraser can do in this case. So once again, I will click on Edit Photo here on top. Then I click on Magic Eraser below. Let us increase the brush size a bit here. And now let's brush over our guy right here. Then we let go of the left mouse button, wait for a second, and this is the result, pretty amazing. In this case here, it left a little bit of fog, which actually looks pretty nice. So obviously in some images, this is going to work better than in others. The simpler the background is, the better this is going to work, which is only logical, I guess. But here as well, as mentioned earlier, if you're not happy with the results, you can always brush over the remaining fragments again, and this will often help to make the result a lot better. Now, last but not least, let us have a look at how to erase something in Canva Pro with Canva's background remover, because the background remover actually also has some hidden eraser feature that a lot of people don't even know about. Here's how you use it. First of all, left click on your image or photo, then in the top left corner of the screen, click on edit photo, and this time under Magic Studio right here, choose background remover by simply clicking on it and this will almost instantly remove the background of your image. And as you can see here, it did an absolutely amazing job with this image, because the background of this image was actually not that simple. Anyway guys, I really gotta tell you that Canva's background remover is probably the single most impressive feature of Canva Pro, because it really does an absolutely amazing job, and in some cases even does a better job than Photoshop. Now with that said, once you have used the background remover, to access this cool eraser feature that a lot of people don't know about, all you need to do is to again click here on background remover, 
and you will then get to this screen right here. And as you can see now here inside of background remover, we actually have an erase function and also a restore function. By default the erase function here is selected and now as you've probably guessed it, to erase all you need to do is to left click and hover over the parts that you would like to erase. Now our brush size is a little bit big here so let me just decrease the brush size here a little bit, maybe something like 10. And now let's say I would like to erase a finger, I will just simply zoom in here a little bit and to erase this finger now all I need to do is to left click and hold and then hover over this finger, just like this. And there you go, our poor girl now has a finger less, sorry about that. And that's it guys, these were all the ways you can use to erase in Canva. If you enjoyed this video please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also if you would like to know how to erase text in Canva, make sure to watch the next video on my channel.